Sven, how come a narcissist can rebound so fucking quickly? I just got out of a relationship with one and I'm fucking losing my mind and I'm grieving and all this shit and my narcissist ex has already moved on to the next fucking relationship. I don't get it. I don't get it. I need to understand. And I'm like, I didn't fucking rebound. And they look at me and say, what? fuck you talking about i say rebound implies something is down and then comes back up if a stock rebounds that stock tanked and then it's come back up when something rebounds it assumes you it assumes that it's been down and the difference between you and your narcissist is that you're down you're grieving you're feeling the pain of it and a narcissist by definition because they have so much fucking pain in their lives they can't allow themselves to go down they can't allow themselves to be laid low laid low by life and so they keep just jumping into the next one. Why? Because they need to siphon attention. They need to siphon positive energy from someone else, which is why I don't really call narcissist narcissist. That's a clinical fucking psychological term. Leave psychology to the psychologist. I just call them extreme takers, extreme takers and extreme takers tend to usually find extreme givers. It's a perfect setup match made in hell. And so they move on to the next person who's willing to, because they have their own pain, the extreme giver has their own pain so much from childhood that they'll just give, 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 please just love me a little bit. And the narcissist says, just give, 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 because I've got so much fucking pain. I need something to numb the pain. So they jump, 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 jump. They can't ever bear to go down. Too scary. And if you're in a relationship with somebody like that, fuck. Do yourself a favor and get the fuck out. If you're in a relationship with somebody like that, it's just gonna be hell. They're gonna use you up, burn you up, burn you out, and move on. Because you haven't healed your shit. I'm not blaming the victim. I'm just saying it's two people who have so much fucking pain from their past they can't bear to touch. So you being laid low, you grieving over the loss of that person is the best fucking thing that can happen to you as long as you stay in it and allow the pain and the fears and the bullshit beliefs you were taught about yourself from way fucking back there to come out of you and finally heal from this shit. Yes, it takes longer. Yes, it's infinitely harder than what you see them doing. You think they've moved on with their life. They haven't moved on with their life. They've never engaged their life. They're just bouncy, 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 like Tigger. Bouncy, bouncy, bouncy. On to the next thing. Never fully engaged with life. Just taking, taking, taking. And deep down inside of them is misery. But you're having the wisdom to deal with yours and to get it out so that you can finally move on to a healthy, happy, fulfilling life and relationships. Today's the day. Have a kick-ass day.